In the Java world, there are many awesome frameworks to choose from. To give you some guidance what may fit best for your use case, I am doing a comparison of the Spring framework, Micronaut and Quarkus. Please note that this comparison may not be fully complete and is subjected to change as time progresses and the frameworks are moving fast forward with their development. It should give you some guidance on the different feature sets of each framework. So let's start with the most popular one. The Spring framework is dominating the Java world for quite some time and is a very well established framework. It supports a reactive stack with the release of version 5. The reactive features are called Spring Webflux. Spring has the biggest community out of the three frameworks and also the most integrations. You probably will find an integration for every tool you're using, which is very awesome. Additionally, it supports multiple languages, mainly Java, Groovy and Kotlin. Negative points of Spring are the heavy use of reflection, which results in lower startup times, especially when the application grows. This also comes with higher memory usage and is therefore not well suited for serverless cloud functions. And as last point, we have the support for GraalVM, which is available, but currently experimental. Next up, we have Quarkus. Quarkus is a modern cloud-native framework which supports building a reactive stack. Due to the use of a head of time compilation, it achieves a minimal memory footprint and low startup times. It is based on standards and frameworks, mainly known from Java Enterprise, which was renamed to Jakarta EE. Some popular standards used are JAX-RS, Netty and Eclipse MicroProfile. The support for GraalVM is good and serverless cloud functions are therefore supported well. Multi-language support is currently in preview, so I added this as neutral point. Negative points are the slower compilation times due to the use of a head of time compilation. So it trades minimal memory footprint and low startup times with slower compilation time. The community seems to be smaller as Spring, which can be explained by the younger age of the Quarkus framework. And now we have Micronaut. Micronaut is a modern cloud native framework which supports building a reactive stack. By using a head of time compilation, it achieves a minimal memory footprint and low startup times. So the first points are actually similar to Quarkus. What makes Micronaut unique is that it does not modify bytecode during compilation time and it removes all levels of reflection. With that, the maximum speed can be achieved during runtime. GraalVM and serverless functions are supported well due to the fact of using a head of time compilation. Multiple languages are supported, which are Java, Groovy and Kotlin. It is quite similar to the Spring framework. So if you have a Spring background, this is great, as getting started with Micronaut is simple and also a Spring integration is possible. I put it as neutral point, as it depends on the Spring framework experience. Negative points would be the slower compilation times, because ahead of time compilation is heavily used, but traded against fast startup times and low memory footprint during runtime. The community is smaller than the one of the Spring framework, as it is a younger framework. It is hard for me to compare the community with Quarkus, so I left it out of this comparison. I hope this overview helped you understand the differences and the advantages of each framework. I personally prefer Micronaut as it works really well and I think the developer productivity is really high with it.